Good morning. Happy Sunday, crafters. Yay, it's finally Sunday. My favorite day of the week. <laughs> I am just finding my video. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous weekend. Um, my name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty in Paper Crafts. Uh, I go live every Sunday for Coffee and a Card where I bring you three projects using Stampin' Up! product. You are gonna love what I'm showing you today because I'm going to show you mini catalog products. So uh, I goes live on August 4th, but I cannot wait any longer. I'm like, okay, there's a week. I can, I can, I can do this. <laughs> the first one that I'm gonna be using is one that drew me right to it because of these little guys right here. I am a sucker for punches. I love the punches. So I was really excited for these and I'm always looking for a little leaf punch. So the acorn was just a bonus. I got two leaf punches and an acorn punch and a really, really cute autumn theme set. I love the little jumble of leaves, the pretty little stem here and this little sprig um, and the sentiments and the font are gorgeous. So we're gonna be using this bundle here to make this card today. I did a little wreath card. Let me tell you, this was probably one of the easiest wreath cards I've ever made because of these cute little punches. It makes it so much easier. Where's the pine cone baby punch? There is no baby pine cone punch, I wish, but there's an acorn one, just the three. So anyways, I know I wish they would have done a pine cone. They, need, they needed one more for the pine cone. So I'm gonna show you this adorable little card here. So let's go ahead and get started because we got lots of fun and crafting to do. We're gonna make this little wreath card, which I love wreaths. I love cards with wreaths. I love the fall. I love fall colors. I love everything about the fall. I'm a fall girl. I love the weather, the clothes, everything about fall. So I have the base, it's early espresso and some very vanilla cardstock. Now don't worry about any of the measurements. They're all over on my project sheet. You can get to my project sheet by clicking on the link to my blog post. And then down at the bottom is, um, it says project sheet and it has today's date and you click on that and it takes you to my project sheet. You can print it out. It has all the measurements and everything I used to make the projects. So very vanilla cardstock. And then we have a piece of, this is um, In Good Taste designer series paper. I love the wood grain that, that is on the other side. You have the tile on one side, the wood grain on the other. So In Good Taste designer series paper and getting that nice woody kind of color. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to actually cut a circle through the center of our designer series paper. And if I'm correct, this is the size circle that I want. So this circle is the third largest. So not the largest, not the second largest, but the third largest circle. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out right in the, and I put mine a little bit higher than the middle. So right about there is good. We're just gonna cut that out real quick. So there is our cutout. We'll go ahead and put this back. Now, um, the, before I glue anything down, I want to stamp that sentiment in the middle of my, um, <clears throat> circle here. So I have this, I love it. I said, it says, my heart is grateful for you. Love that sentiment. I used mint macaron. And so what I want to do is just center this here where I would glue it down and stamp this sentiment here in the center. Okay, there we go. You want the coffee I'm drinking today? Cause I'm hyper, <laughs> cause I'm talking a mile a minute. It's just two cups of Starbucks brewed coffee. <laughs> All right, so now that I've stamped my sentiment, I can put dimensionals on the back of my designer series paper. And I'm just gonna put some around the sides too, just to kind of give it some extra support. I don't want it caving in. Ah, keep them in a binder, smart. Gotta keep my images small then, not to kill your 
printer from all the ink. Okay, so then we can, actually, let me glue this down first. That's gonna make my life a little bit easier. So I'm gonna glue the very vanilla down to my card base. I love very vanilla and early espresso together. I think that they go really well. Okay, and then we're going to stamp, or we're going to glue this down to our, oh, my sentiment's a little crooked. When is it my sentiment crooked? That's, that's the better question. When is it not crooked? Okay, so now for the fun, we get to do the punching. So <laughs> we, get to, we get to play with the new little punches. So we have, I have three different colors of cardstock. I have Cajun Craze, um, Crumb Cake, and Mint Macaron. And I have the leaves, and I have the acorn. So I'm gonna do three acorns, and the nice thing about it is it's a two-step stamp process. So this is the top portion of the acorn, so it's gonna fill it in. So what I'm gonna do is stamp, I'm gonna use soft suede for my stamping. Any dark brown will do, early espresso was good too. Um, but you're going to stamp three acorns. One, two, three. And then we're gonna do the filler part. You can color them in or you can stamp them in. So that's kind of nice to not have to color if you don't want to. Ooh, that was like the worst stamping job ever. That one's gonna be a little bit darker of an acorn. That's okay. All right, and then I also, on the Cajun Craze, stamped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of our maple leaves. So just using the soft suede ink. See how easy it is to make leaves with this set? And then for the um, lighter leaf, for the mint macaron leaf, I used mint macaron to stamp the leaf. Tone on tone, it looked, it looked nice that way. So, and I did one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight of those as well. So one, two, three, four, oops, that one, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back now. Let's go ahead and do our punching. This is the fun part. Love these little mini punches. So we'll just line these up. And notice how I stamped up and down. So very easy to line up inside the stamp or inside the punch here. Right? Just punch leaves. So much easier. That's what made me excited about this punch set, you guys. Look how easy it is to punch these little leaves. And what a cute, this one, wouldn't this be a cute little banner or a little border with the negative? Could do all kinds of cute things. Woo! It's autumn in my craft room. Leaves are falling. Leaves are flying. Okay, that one was. All right, so there's our leaves. Let's do our acorns, our cute little acorns. These are actually kind of big acorns, don't you think? <laughs> kind of big. Wouldn't this be great with a squirrel set? Don't we? Ha we have a squirrel set, don't we? Yeah, we have the squ the squirrels in the um in the oh gosh, what is it called? With the raccoon, isn't there a squirrel? These would be perfect. The squirrels could share an, an acorn. Oh, can somebody make that card, please? Someone special, I think is what it's called. Whoa, leaf. I guess I need to turn this upside down so they don't go flying. Special friends, yes, special friends. We can make two squirrels with the mirroring technique and they could be sharing an acorn between them. How cute. Oh, you guys, I don't know if you can hear this, but my cat is outside my door scratching and meowing because I have not fed him. Can you guys hear him? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that's it for the punching. 
Darn it, the punching is over. Short-lived. Told you guys this was an easy, easy card. All right, so you can use glue dots or you can use liquid glue, whatever floats your boat. But you're just going to start gluing your leaves around. And all of these mint macaron leaves I did, I know, he is going to survive. I promise you that. When the girls wake up, he'll run upstairs and go get fed because his food is up in their in their bathroom. And they play, okay, so my cats, they, um, they like to play games. <laughs> they play us all for fools, I tell you what, because they all cry that they're starving and dying and we all feed them. And so I'd be like, who, what, feed the cats? And they're all like, we did. And so these cats are getting like, extra extra amounts of food a day like way more food than they should be getting so they know how to play us they cry for everybody to feed them okay so just gluing these around my little wreath and they got a little close there but that's okay okay so then what we're gonna do what I well at least what I did is I took some dimensionals and kind of cut them in half because um a full dimensional is too big and you, you can see it, but just cutting them in half, cutting them in pieces and, or getting you, or, or using mini dimensionals, which seems like a obvious choice now that I've cut up my dimensionals. But I just put these up on dimensionals in different directions around the wreath. So I didn't want them all uniform, right? I want them to be, um, in different directions, some going up, some going down, some going sideways, and that kind of, I don't want it all matchy-matchy, if you get what, get what I'm saying. So, just gluing those around. I love the, I think it's the, I think partly it's the colors and partly how easy it is with all the little punches that makes me love this wreath so much. And um, I like the sentiment, the font, again, like I said, is very, very sweet in the center. This could be a great little thank you card for customers in the fall or for your friends and family if you do like Thanksgiving cards. Okay, all right, so then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of our acorns too. We're gonna pop those up. Do, 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 do. And we get to like pick where we want these little acorns to go. I love it. The acorns kind of just finish the whole thing. Isn't that adorable? Like it, it's missing something and then you put an acorn and you're like, that's what it was missing. Punch a bunch. Oh my gosh, that'd be a fun class. Yes, you're right. Thanks for the idea. We'll have to do a class with these and make some wreaths. Ooh, yes. Getting excited. I'm getting so excited for this um, catalog, you guys. Okay. Last but not least, we've got to add our little mascara. You guys know what I say about bows, right? Bows are like mascara. It's like, if you're gonna go out of the house with, at, with no makeup on, at least put on the mascara. So if you leave a card without the bow, it's like leaving a card naked. <laughs> they need their little bow. So this ribbon, oh, I should tell you guys, this ribbon is called the Basket Weave and Metallic Ribbon. It has this beautiful, I was, not this part, this part is not beautiful, but, and I'm not using my ribbon scissors, but this is called Basket Weave Ribbon and Metallic Ribbon. And this does, it feels very um, scratchy, metallic material. And then you have this beautiful weaved, soft um, mint macaron ribbon. Aren't these gorgeous? Look at those beautiful colors. But this ribbon is too big for my little wreath, so I'm just gonna use this pretty ribbon here to make myself a little bow. Like so. Bow like so. Alrighty, so just make it the size that you want. Trim the edges so they're nice and clean and then put a glue dot behind. I always use 
Yeah, a mask and your mascara. <laughs> so I always use a glue dot for my bows. Look how cute that is, you guys, and so simple. Look how fast we made that. You can crank out a bunch of these. Oh, forgot my bling. I also added some champagne rhinestones, which I thought was the color was perfect with the ribbon. How could I forget the bling? Now I put mine around the wreath, but maybe this time I'm gonna put them inside the wreath. Maybe they'll go right on the wreath in just random places so that we get some bling on the card. Cute, cute. There. You guys can tell me which one you like. Do you like the bling in the wreath or bling on the card? I love it. If you want one of them, make sure you place your $35 order with me this week and I'll send you one with your make and takes. And you'll get the beautiful poinsettia card and you'll get the beautiful wreath card and a fun little box. Oh, you guys, I am so excited for this new catalog. I hope you'll partake in our share in the share that I'm doing. That way you can get all your, your hands on all the beautiful new product. Hopefully you guys are all staying safe and healthy. And thank you so much for watching again with me. You guys have a fabulous week. We'll see you next week, okay? Yay! Thank you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.